Hey guys, this is Mark again, coming back to you from Thor, still in quarantine. Uh, so again, we're gonna show you another quick setup here. Uh, not gonna spend as much time on this as I did the last video. Uh, but I wanna show you guys another thing that some people get confused about when they give us a call or they email us, is this question about, hey, I have this modulator uh, from this company, can I use yours? Well, absolutely, because when we talk about the different brands of modulators or what they can do, uh, at the basis of the argument is what is RF and how can you get it to your TV? Uh, so I wanted to point out a couple different things here. One, you can have as many RF modulators as you want to fill up the band of RF channels. Uh, and what we mean by that is each frequency is a one megahertz step. Uh, they're usually six megahertz for QAM. DBBT that's used in Europe is about eight megahertz. So each step you can fit in uh, different amounts of programs and data information. Uh, depending if you're using QAM64, QAM256, or ATSC, you're gonna be able to put different channels uh, or different programs into those channels. So when we use multiple varieties of boxes, in this case, I have three petites set up. I have a set-top box that's actually feeding the Thunder 4, and then I have another source for the Thunder 4, which I believe is the DVD player. So essentially, what we're doing is we're putting each of these boxes on different channels. The Thunder 4 has only two inputs, or only pulling two channels from that. But essentially, we have from 65, 66, 67, 68, and 69 are our own custom channels. And with that, we also still have the antenna set up from last week uh, that we're also pulling in off-air ATSC. So again, from the antenna to the combiner, along with these three boxes, the petites and the Thunder 4, are all going into the combiner. The combiner is then going to a very small one by two splitter and off to the TVs. So in, in, inherently what we did was we have all the ATSC channels you can pull from your local stations. Uh, in this case, it goes up to about 40 something. I tried to check online. There is an excellent website you can go to called nocable.org. You put in your own address and it's gonna tell you how many channels you can pull from your local off air uh, city or wh whoever's nearest to you uh, that's actually outputting uh, over the air. So again, we're using all these different units we're combining them on different channels and this combiner is stacking those channels neatly into a row and that is going to the TVs. So you can use any of these boxes connected to the TV. So in this case, I wanted to show you guys the off-air antenna, if you just hit two, it says right here, KCBS HD. Now again, we're not in a great area here and we can't pull that off-air channel. Maybe our antenna isn't the greatest, uh, but you know, if you just scroll up a little bit, what you can see is, is that eventually oh, you'll hit Jesus. a channel that you can actually see and or use right. in your house. In this yeah. case, it's again, I just scrolled up and now we have Ellen on both TVs. Personally, I'm not a big Ellen fan, uh, but that's besides the point. I don't like daytime talk shows, period, uh, unless it's ESPN. So uh, all I'm trying to show you guys is again, you can go through all your channels and you can just uh, you know go through your, your TV off-air scan and it's gonna pick up all the channels that are available. Now, going back to what we did here with combining all these different elements, okay? As you can see on the front of these, it's quite noticeable because of the uh, red icon LEDs. 65, 66, 67, all have different HDMI sources. So if you take your TV and go to 65 and hit enter, you're gonna be able to pull up the first broadcast. And again, we have some sort of uh, political jargon some pundits spewing minutia. Uh, and then again, we go to the next device, which is Amazon. On Amazon, I was lucky enough to find some Looney Tunes on YouTube. Uh, fantastic, brings me back to my childhood. Really excited that I found some Looney Tunes. Uh, and the next one, again, uh, next channel up is the HD bit wireless transceiver uh, going into our friend's pool over here. And again, uh, you know, it's full HD, it's crystal clear. The system itself isn't all that great, um, and the camera's all not out that great, but you know, as you can see, it's a simple uh, reflection of what the units can do. And all we wanna do is take that HDMI signal, convert it to an RF channel that you can then see on your TV. Last week I made a, an application judgment about using it as a security camera and connected it to your TV source. Again, probably the most popular use of it, uh, or if you wanna create your own head in a bar, restaurant that's strictly sports channels or whatever the case is, you can do that. You can set up these channels however you want. And again, now the Thunder is pulling in channels from two different sources. This is actually the DVD player. 
Uh, and then we also have the set top box here. And the set top box is using a regular uh, channel that we picked up off the air antenna. And again, this set top box, I'm gonna be talking about a bit in the future. Uh, it's our new Thor set top box for Quam and ATSC. Has a bunch of cool features and fun things you can do with it. Um, and again, I'll be talking about that in a later show. But for now, we just wanted to use it to show you guys that you can actually pull off air antenna frequencies using the set top box and go HDMI direct to the TV. In this case, we're going HDMI direct into the Thunder 4 and modulating it on this particular channel. And again, on the previous channel, I believe we still have uh, terminal velocity. Again, um, we've been here for days and still have not managed to change the DVD in the DVD player. I know what you're thinking, um, but I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, look at the shirt I'm wearing. I'm at the end of my closet. I haven't done laundry in about a month. Uh, again, this quarantine is getting to all of us. So again, uh, back to what I was actually discussing is we can actually pull all the HD channels off the air using the antenna, using a simple combiner. You can use any amount of modulators, uh, again, that are HDMI capable, uh, and then you can just provide your own sources to create more of your own TV channel. So again, if you're in a rural area and you have a huge house uh, and you have different TVs that are all just connected through coax, but you don't want to put a you know, cable box in each room because it costs you, you know, 15, 20 bucks a month, this is a great way to get away from that. Uh, you get one cable box, plug it into the modulator, and then you can control the channels uh, using you know, RS-232 or some other controllable apparatus. Uh, LEDs are a great idea. And that's a separate subject, but again, you know, we're just showing you that you can play a DVD player and you can show it in every single room in your house. Uh, and again, you know, these are simple setups. I wanna to touch base on everything from the mediocre to the easy to the difficult. Uh, and we're gonna show you guys more stuff in the future. But for now, I just wanted to show you the implementation of using multiple devices, one simple RF combiner, uh, a lot of different sorts of media from Roku sticks and Amazon sticks and set top boxes. Uh, and of course, off-air antenna. And we're creating channels that you can view on any TV in your house that's connected to the network. All right, guys, I hope you learned something today. Uh, check in back with us next week and we'll have, I'm sure, more videos because we got lots of time over here. Thanks.